Move on to Robert Carmichael. He wants to talk about Alberto De Rio announcing that he'll be uh, coming to ROH. Uh, apparently, that's a big deal. I don't know. I don't like. It means nothing to me specifically because I don't watch ROH. I know Robert and quite a few of you guys rave about what ROH does. I just, I just could never really get into it. So, on one hand, like this, this is this is cool. Because it's it's a top level guy. It's a guy who it seems all the rumor mills are turning uh, about you know how our, uh, Alberto Del Rio might be in TNA or Lucha Underground or whatever. I mean, it seems like he could be anywhere, but he's going to ROH, and so uh, that could put them on the map because that's like the biggest star to ever really uh, go to ROH in his prime, outside of like an AJ Styles maybe. But um, yeah, I don't know. So. Nick, your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, you're you're closer to ROH as far as following it, <laughs> which I don't. But overall, like, what do you think this means for ROH? Yeah, just as a disclaimer, I I do try to follow ROH, but I don't watch it regularly because it's just so much of a pain in the ass to get in my area. Now, from everything I've read, it sounds very much like Del Rio is going to be in ROH the same way AJ Styles and Chris Hero are in ROH or the Young Bucks, which is not on the roster, but they'll come around every so often. Which, that's not something to tout as a huge get. Not in the same way as it was when Del Rio signed with AAA. Like, he's there full-time. Right. Um, Rey Mysterio was going to be a triple, AAA full-time. That was a big deal. This is kind of like... What's a good comparison? This is kind of like Homicide coming back to TNA for the New York tapings. Big deal for that home crowd. And it's certainly nice to see him around, but he's not a full time guy. Right. He's only gonna be temp- around temporarily. Yeah. So it's it's very interesting the kind of matches I've seen that will be up that Del Rio will be facing. Like Joe mentioned that at the show he's gonna go to, Del Rio's gonna be facing ACH. And if you're familiar with AC or if you're not familiar with ACH, he's a very, very acrobatic kind of guy. Is, is that um, his name or is it means that else? is his name. Okay. Um I I don't know if it still stands for this, but I've seen it's where it stands for attitude, charisma, and heart. And he's a very, very geeky, nerdy kind of guy. Incorporates all kinds of video game themes into his moveset. So he's a very interesting guy to watch. So that's definitely going to be a good match. And I can definitely see a lot of good matches being had with the ROH talent. But it's not quite as big a deal as some people are hyping it up to be because it's not a full-time get. If that makes sense. Yeah. What What about you, David? Do you, do, you, do you think this is a good good move for ROH overall, or I mean, what's your what's your feelings on this? Well, not so much um, <laughs> in terms of what he can bring to ROH. I thought it was interesting because when he did the uh, interview, he did the interview with Bill Apter on uh, YouTube a while ago, and he said that was when he mentioned that he'd signed with two American companies who have TV deals. Yeah. And um, Lucha Underground, I think we knew at the time that he'd uh, signed uh, with to come on board with them uh, sometime next year. And I assumed with everyone else that, that the other uh, company he was probably referring to was TNA, because I'd also heard they'd been talking to some uh, big names, although Del Rio wasn't mentioned to me. Um, so I was surprised when it was Ring of Honor. I really thought if, I mean, okay, there's still the chance that he could go to TNA, but if TNA have missed the boat on this, and whether they've missed the boat on this for like financial reasons worries me. Um, I think it's a big steal for, um, uh, hats off to Ring of Honor for being able to bring Del Rio in, because there's no doubt TNA would have uh, have contacted him, uh, would have wanted to bring. They wanted to be the one announcing that Del Rio, who he was going to be fighting. So I think it's it's a big coup for uh, Ring of Honor to get someone of his status. Yeah, it's odd. Um, the ROH is the landing point, it, just because like uh, you know it's the internet. Rumors are rumors. They're they're uh, uh, wrong usually, but it does seem like. You know, a lot of people were saying that TNA was trying to get Del Rio and was going after him as soon as he was let go by WWE. So, you know, it is odd that TNA wouldn't be in that. And maybe maybe they still are. You know, ROH, yeah, okay, they have a U.S. TV deal, <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's not available in my area, it's, which is it's Cleveland. The stations that they own is the, is the scope of their TV deal. Yeah, it's not available in Detroit, which is where Joe is. Not available in parts of Chicago, which like uh, which Scott Viper, who is who is on the show uh, uh, for a bit, uh, you know, it it's never really available to 
it's, it's, it's not available to everyone. And, you know, for a guy like Del Rio, who is basically a former world champion who is still in one of the, uh, the top stories, um, heading out of his career in WWE, it's odd that, like, he wouldn't put himself back into a, a spot, especially if he was going to sign with someone in the U.S. that has a U.S. TV deal that they, w- that he wouldn't go with TNA. Say what you will about TNA, but like that is the best bet to get the most viewers. And I would argue that Del Rio is going to make a bigger impact on Lucha Underground than he ever will on ROA simply because of the fact that Lucha Underground is carried on a nationwide network. Yeah. Whereas ROH can't say that. 